Turning now to the very latest on the coronavirus. New records were set over the weekend when it comes to the number of cases. Down south, Florida just broke the national record for new single day cases. But closer to home here, some good news to report. No COVID-19 related deaths were reported yesterday in New York for the first time in four months. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Carolina Cruz joins us live now to explain what's happening here in our state compared to elsewhere in the nation. And it's a different story depending on where you live, right, Carolina? It is, and Connecticut is doing really well when it comes to the number of cases and the infection rate, and they, and they ended up changing uh, the frequency on when the state releases COVID-19 data because of that from we every day to only on weekdays. On Friday, our state reported 78 more people got infected, 13 fewer COVID-19 patients were in the hospital, and no COVID-19 related deaths. But there are two storylines that are unfolding in the coronavirus pandemic here in the U.S. Louisiana scaled back its reopening and implemented a statewide mask mandate to slow the spread of infection. People who refuse to wear a mask can be cited. Restaurants and bars can only serve takeout there. Florida reported more than 15,000 new cases in just one day over the weekend. A sharp increase in the number of people going to the hospital. The uh, number of people are in I ICU and the number of people on our ventilators. So, here in the Northeast in New York, New York City reported no coronavirus deaths yesterday for the first time since March. And today, 3,000 daycares there will reopen in the city with social distancing and other safety measures in place. Connecticut, along with New York and New Jersey, they continue to have a travel advisory in place. People visiting from 19 states that are seeing high rates of infection are asked to either stay home or to quarantine for 14 days when they get in. The list will be updated every single week, and you can find that list of current 19 states right now available on our Channel 3 app. Reporting live, I'm Carolina Cruz, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.